There's copper. Ooh. With new flame abilities, just like the Taurus Demon. Can't see. And pearl fireballs. No. Curses. He got away this time. No matter. We'll catch up with them. What the? You just spawn out of thin air. What's he doing? Oh, but now he wants to fight us here as well. You're the trick. Copper Demon's even teaching us new things that we didn't know about. Just like that Witch of Izalith who could teleport and that Quaylog boss fight and cheated me out of a death. Now the Copper Demon's doing it. The Cascade. Oh, but it's weak. Pathetically weak. We can't let him get a single hit on us. I fear the damage will be far too great. Hoo ah Avoided the beam. You're through. So real quickly, I would like to show something off down in the depths, since we actually have zero reason to go down here. Once you open the doors to Blight Town, this also can be done in New Game tactically. But when you open the doors to Blight Town, Blight Town's like monsters and enemies will show up in the depths. Which is just kind of like a little unique detail showing that they all somehow manage to climb out of the horde swamp that is Blight Town. And they pretty much fill up the entirety of the sewers. But that's all that's pretty much down there. So if you ever wanted to go through the sewers, but with Blight Town enemies... Well, this is an interesting experience. And I believe there's also a Covetous Silver plus one. Kind of like in that area where you fight Kirk, like past that where the Bass Wests are. Otherwise, that's pretty much the only new things that's down in the sewers. So in terms of Blight Town, there's not really any new changes done here. And the chains with Quaylog's boss fight already existed in New Game. But in one of the original versions of the mod, you would actually have to be in New Game Plus to see something new. Where this time around, not so much. Huh? What I just got humanity from? Oh, it must have been you. We have a cascade. Twenty damage to resist the magic. Exceedingly powerful. Hooah! Bear witness to its power. How could chaos be so strong? I hate Kai chaos. Every fiber of my being. Darkness. Finishing combo. Haha. Now let's get rid of the poison and fight the actual boss. I actually just remembered there's only one new thing about Blight Town. Which, honestly, there's little reason to actually see it, and I think where it was placed is a little bit not the best. But there's an, an invasion from like an assassin, some assassin something that happens like up above the rafters near the top on the bridges. Then that's pretty much it. 
Something that should be noted about any, like, invaders that got added by the mod is that, you know, NPCs in general, I guess, they have this stupid amount of magic resistance for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. Cascade. Cascade's mediocre at best. It's almost like a secondary chaos or dark bead. Moonlight penetration. Cascading inside your soul. Oh, uh, now the real boss fight begins. Let's hope Quelia doesn't do that cheating teleportation nonsense like last time. Yeah, we can get rid of Quelia first. This will actually be a lot better. Uh oh. Well, that's not a good sign, is it not? This is how it's gonna be, isn't it? Magic versus chaos. Thou shalt not dare to oppose. Oh boy. All the way in Sun's Fortress, another Baronite has gotten added to the place. Looks like there's another crossbow on the other side of the bridge, too. I'm trying to make the jump. They shoot you down. We gotta get moving, though, because those Baronites are not gonna let up. Make way. We got two things to take care of now. Are the Baronites still after us? Nope, they gave up. Come then, giant. I'd like to mention that it's only been about an hour so far at the time of being where I'm at right now. It's pretty much how fast I've been going through this. I might actually make a unlisted video if you want to just see my full run through the game. AKA what I would call a genuine speed run. Whoa. Uh oh. Heads up. Woo! The wind blast. What the? What's that sound? Oh, the serpent mage is trying to shoot at us now to confuse us. The serpents are on the side of the iron golem. Yeah. Ouch. Switch to the tin crystallization catalyst. Supposedly, it's the best in the game, but you can only cast half of the things. Look. It almost seems like our blade is always going to be stronger than our spells. Even Darkman Greatsword, while it hits like a truck. The Moonlight Greatsword. A brand new relic. Now all we gotta do is get inside the cathedral. 
And there is a unique thing which I did not do on the new game run, which I'm going to do here, which is we have to fight Gwendolyn first, since it changes the boss fight with one scene in Smog. Or rather, I should say, there won't be a Dragon Slayer this time. Ah uh, yes, the Tomb of Gwyn. Thy secrets are revealed. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. I'm afraid not. I'd love to, but... Not this time. Much more powerful than he was last time. In fact, you can kind of see the knight, which is weird because the like the shadow on my back kind of has like it's already a nighttime lighting. It's a little odd. Why don't you use those snakes for something, Gwendolyn? Arrows and magic isn't gonna get you for it. Heretic, swathed in dark. We have light soul mass, and we have no reason to go down there. I guess, but now the sky has changed, only it's not quite night. Now it's something far more sinister. But we got a new spell, and that's what matters. The final thing that I'll do is showcase every new spell in the mod. However, there is one that doesn't work, which is the King's Wrath. It used to work, and then something happened, and the coding screwed up or something, and that no longer worked. Then it got fixed, and then for this final update, it doesn't work again. Unfortunately, that's the only one I'm not going to be able to show. But as for the rest of them, I have plenty of characters to do that with. Oh uh, yeah, look at how pretty the sky is now. It's a mix of sunlight and nighttime. The definition of sunset. Sunset Londo. Now this time there's a giant awaiting our arrival. The Moonlight Soul Mass. Extremely powerful. But not powerful enough. And another one guards the way. Basically, Gwendolyn's magic attack, the giant one. Well, this should make this segment a lot easier. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. There's now an archer guarding the center platform. Feel the darkness. Defeat you instantly. The light cannot stand against the dark. I'm learning new things. Something is making me curious about this darkness. What is it? 